Testing two cast bullet loads. The uh, Lyman 230 grain round nose and the Lyman uh, 199 grain semi wet cutter. Next on Let Bullets for Life. Okay, I'm going to be firing uh, two sets of uh, 15 rounds. Uh, the target is going to be set at 5 yards. The target itself. The chronograph will be set at 5 yards. The target set at 15 yards. 15 rounds. 30. Error. 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 All right, that's 15 rounds right there. We're going to try the uh, 1911 next. All right, we're going to take the 1911, the top target. Seven sixty-four. Seven thirty-two. Seven eighty-four. Six eighty-four. And to the 20. All right, let's put another mag in. You zoom in on me, I mean, you gotta tap on me the right way, because otherwise it like this. 7 3. Seven sixty. Error. Seven twenty-five. Error. Seven forty-one. Seven oh eight. And seven seventy five. Consistency uh, with the red dot was pretty good. Let's look at the targets now. Grouping is quite well for fifteen shots each. At fifteen yards. Alright, we're gonna try the two thirty grain with the four point one grains of red dot. For both guns. Alright, with the uh, Glock 30 SF, we're going to shoot um, 14 rounds of 230 grain round ball uh, lead and 4.1 grains of red dot. 651, finally. Well, we got great accuracy. Uh, we got one recording at 651. Let's try the uh, 1911, same load. And see, it tells me it may be the angle of the target itself. Because uh, I had no problem with the 11 on the last session. So let's try the 1911. Eleven thirty grains, four point one grains. Seven 
One reading off that one, or a couple readings off that one. So, uh, uh, on the next session, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, readjust again. All right, we're going to try the uh, 230 grain, uh, 5.4 grains of unique. Start off with the top 30, and I did something different. I set up a little bit higher, and I'm going to shoot the bolt over the corner I'm just about maybe a few inches higher to see if it makes any difference. Sorry, right, so here we go. on the 1911 is a little bit higher, so hopefully it'll uh, record. Zero. One more magazine. All right, so I got a couple of readings off the, uh, uh, the unique note, so we'll wrap this up, head on home, and... Uh, about the uh, well, it's more of a uh, test, test of the um, 45 ACP. It's more of a all right. We're back from the range today, and uh, the shooting was uh, pretty successful as far as accuracy goes. Uh, the big story in this shooting today was the chronograph. Chronograph did extremely poor, and I did everything to uh, make it work right. Uh, granted, I got a few uh, recordings enough to at least make some kind of a, a, a comparison. Well, I basically I realized what happened. Uh, this happened last time when I was at the range, and uh, f forgetting that I have a battery, I have batteries inside the, um, the chronograph itself, spare batteries. It sits for a month or so, and then of course you know when you buy these dollar free batteries, you know they go dead on you. So basically, this is what happened. I should have just swapped the batteries out right off the bat, and I wouldn't have this problem. Because I done everything. I put the shades up. I put a nice distance. I adjusted it. You know, I'm getting erratic, uh, you know, uh, reading, so, uh, and I re realized, hey, this was something that happened last time when the battery was going dead. Sure enough, uh, that's what I should have done in the first place, swapped out the battery. So, uh, lesson learned on that one. But anyways, guys, uh, let's show the targets for today's shoot. 
and I was really impressed with the uh, well, unique and the uh, red dot. All right, so here's the uh, Glock 30, 15 yards. Now, this is the uh, 200 grain summer wet cutter, 4.1 grains. Very good. Grouping is very good on it. And what was surprising is that there were no hang-ups on this um, semi wood cutter. They're kind of like not sharp shoulders, they're kind of semi-sharp, kind of roundish noses, and kind of a roundish shoulder, you know. But uh, anyway, they work extremely well and quite reliable. All right, so here's the 1911. It did okay. You know, it shot uh, over to the left, right a bit, but it grew quite well, you know, for 15 yards. And uh, so I was quite happy with that. Uh, you know, again, velocity with the Unique was... Uh, very, very good. I, you know, this was uh, in the 750 uh, foot per, uh, per second range. So, you know, there goes uh, uh, a good load for practicing, target shooting. All right, so here we go again with the uh, Glock 30. This is the, uh, the 225 grain Lyman round nose, 4.1 grains of uh, red dot. And again, you know, it's, it groups quite well, quite well. So, you know, Glock, you know, it, the Glock 30 is just performs well for a short barrel. You know it really does there's my my you know my thing is this is that the short barrels have little rigid uh, they're more rigid so there's less vibration so you get better accuracy you know shot per shot and this is you know my theory on uh, why you get better accuracy with Glock you know besides that you're not you don't have a polymer uh, a polymer you don't have a poly a, uh, a polygon uh, barrel you have an octagonal barrel on the um, Glock 30s all right, so here's the 1911, uh, 230 grain, 4.1 grains of uh, red dot, and they group really good. You know, over to again, over to the right, but uh, extremely well. Look at that, it just it just tore up right here. You know, so you know again, uh, the unique load was uh, 700 to 750, uh, and I was uh, oh, I'm sorry, yeah, about no, this is the red dot. I'm sorry, about uh, seven to 750. So this was quite good. All right, now we get to the unique. Uh, Okay, name of the game. So here's the Glock 30. You know, look at that. Okay, good towards the right. Very good. I got velocities around like 650 to like close to 7, but in the 650 range. Actually, I don't even. Actually, these are the ones I didn't get recorded at all. That was a red dot I'm talking about. So I'm pretty sure these were going pretty close to 700. Now we have our. 1911 you know again look at the look at the center on that it's just it's just the right a bit but still it's centering more and more as the bullet gets heavier so it's uh, it was shooting six clock hold and it shot up here so it just needs a little bit of adjustment but I think it's fine for 15 yards uh, velocities were really good on it I'll get 800 to 840 on it I got two low, uh, uh, readings on that one so that was probably pretty good so I think I'll stick with the the low end of the five grain uh, unique charge uh, it gave me good service on that one and good accuracy as well as you can see all right, so uh, overall thought on the uh, Lee micro disc, it's not that reliable. I had a few squibs, and uh, thank God the bullet didn't uh, jam up in the barrel. Uh, that would have been pretty much trouble. So it was it had enough powder to pop the bullet out. So uh, you know, thank God uh, didn't have any uh, issues with the, having to go back and start over again. But anyways. Um, with the red dot, guys, this is the trouble I had with the red dot. The unique, no trouble at all. I had none. Uh, you know, went off without a hitch, fired evenly. Now, understand something, guys. Uh, I kind of made these like match grade. I basically, you know, made sure that every charge was the same, every brass was the same, every char every brass was a uh, federal, and of course CCI, you know, 500 uh, large pistol primers, you know, and of course using Lyman bullets, of course, very good bullets. As you can see, you know, in the, in the video, and so um, I uh, highly recommend these loads and these bullets for for cast for the Glock 30. You know, uh, don't be afraid to use lead bullets, providing that you know you, you do your part. Remember, this, this is you know here's the uh, Glock 30 here. Remember, guys, it's 45. Okay, it's not designed to be a super high speed bullet. So keep your losses, you know, at reasonable speeds. You'll get good accuracy. You'll get good functionality with these Glocks, along with the 1911s. You know, here's my action. This this 1911 is 33 years old, and it still gave me good performance. You know, uh, it's pretty beat up. You know, chipped up a little bit. You know, I still got the original grips on them, and um, I, I love it. You know, I love it. I mean, there's something about a 1911 pistol. 
And, and the funny thing is, shooting polymer guns for so many years, you grab one of these, you say, what happened to me? It feels like a brick in my hand, you know, or a lead weight in my hand, you know? So these are all steel guns here, you know, except for maybe the, the grip with this wood. But anywho, um, so uh, guys, uh, I enjoy uh, making these videos for you. Give you, uh, I do all the work for you, the velocity, the bullet making, and the charge I use, kind of uh, brass I use. And this, you know, you use this information, you know, in at your own risk, basically. This is this is something I do. All my information came from the Richard Lee book. Okay, so this was a no guessing game. Okay, the 5.4 charge of unique uh, max for, was it for what the 230 grain round nose was. Uh, 5.8 and the lowest setting was uh, 5.1 so I went in the middle did 5.4 and as you saw it, it worked out pretty good same with the uh, 200 grainers uh, with the red dot uh, the 200 grainers started at uh, 4.1 and uh, I left it at 4.1 so um, and uh, it gave me good service there so good functionality good accuracy clean burning um, it was just a, a great day for shooting today again you know the chronograph uh, it was my fault, basically. I should have been no better than to, you know, expect the battery to, to survive this long, you know, being stored, uh, connected and all. So, uh, you know, I should have swapped out that battery. I had the resources to do it, but didn't do it, you know. It's kind of like having a, uh, a five-gallon tank, of, a five-gallon gallon of gas in the car, and you run out of gas, and you forget you had it in there. You know, you could have saved yourself the trouble of just, work, you know, thought ahead and uh, plan things out a little bit better. But anyways, guys, this is Levels for Life. Thanks for joining me this Sunday. I uh, hope you have a good uh, weekend and uh, you know a good work week. So we'll see you again in the next uh, video. If you have any comments, uh, go ahead and place them down in the comment section. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like it. Uh, give me make suggestions, guys. Uh, you know I'm all I'm all ears. Uh, I'm just like you. I'm just a working class man, just trying to make a video. You know I enjoy doing it for you and myself. You know and uh, giving you the honest results of the tests. So anyways, uh, take care. We'll see you next time at the range. Bye for now.